Hey guys, Jimmy Yin here. Happy Monday. Monday is Movement Monday. So this is another Daily Power Tips. I am your acupuncture neurology specialist. And so today I'm gonna go over something that I went over in my uh, my team uh, morning, uh, morning huddle morning, and I wanted to apply it to also health. So uh, I got this from my mentor, Grant Cardone, and uh, he says that there's three reasons, there's only three reasons why someone would achieve the result that they want, live the life that they want, obtain the life, build the life that they want, um, and there's, or there's three reasons why we don't get the life that we want. So we're gonna change it up to health. If you don't have the health that you want, the quality of life that you want, there's only three reasons. There's only three reasons, okay? The three reasons why you're not getting it, and it's also the same three reasons uh, three actually strategies on what you can do to get what you want, right? So the three A's, he calls it the three A's. Number one, attitude. You gotta have the right attitude. If you don't have the right attitude, then of course you're healthy. You're not gonna have the health that you want. We all know, you know, uh, how our brain thinks creates a chemical chain, chain of reaction um, that it actually comes out physiologically. So for example, if you are super nervous, you, you, you're anxious all the time, that's going to force, that's going to make your brain secrete certain neurotransmitters, certain chemicals to tighten up your muscles. You'll feel like your, your, your shoulders are above into your ears. It's all because of what you thought, even though that really hasn't happened, right? So anxiety, so anxiety is a great example. Anxiety causes your brain to secrete certain chemicals and that creates a physical response which tightens everything. It actually also inhibits blood flow to your digestive system which ruins your gut over years, right? So having the right attitude is super important to having the quality of life that you want to have, having the health that you want to have. So you always have to have, you can do positive affirmations, you, uh, but you know, you, you want to get into the attitude of something that like you can achieve this versus if you keep on thinking every single day, I will never be able to get all the energy that I want. I will never be able to lose weight. I'll never be able to sleep well. Guess what's going to happen? Your brain is listening to your thoughts and you're, and it's going to make you not sleep well, not have enough energy, not have con chronic pain. It, you're, you're basically telling your brain that's what you want. So you, what you do, the attitude that you have is super important to tell your brain, hey, I do want to have full energy. I want to be able to sleep great. I want to be able to be able to hike you know, uh, all the mountains. Uh, I want to be able to play tennis every single day. I want to be able to do all this. If you start switching that attitude, your body is going to actually make it physically start to happen. Okay. Next. Now, second thing is, is approach. The third, second A is approach. How you approach it is vitally important. Okay, so let's just say you have a injury to your knee, and let's say you wanna, you, you wanna hike, right? You wanna hike, you wanna be you know, going to the, in the hills and, and, and the waterfalls and so forth, but if you choose a wrong approach, then you may not achieve that final result. So if you choose the approach of, hey, I just want to band-aid it, I want to mask it so that I don't feel a symptom and then I, so that I can do it. Yes, temporarily you may be able to do it, but over time you will start losing that quality of life. So the decisions you make today, the approach you make today is going to affect you 20 years down the road. We know that because a lot of our patients, they're in their 60s to 80s and they're feeling all of those effects of the wrong approach that they took when they were, in, they were in their 20s and 30s. So the approach that you take right now will manifest, you know, for some of y'all, maybe five years, 10 years later, right? So super important. Third one is action. It's not enough action. Most of the time we don't achieve the quality of life that we want because we're not taking enough action. We see this every January. Every January, actually every probably first quarter of the year, we see this. What is it? Weight loss. Everybody has a New Year's resolution of losing weight. And they start off maybe the first two weeks, and after that, it's over, right? And people, so many millions of people don't ever achieve their goal of weight loss. Why? Because they don't take enough action. It's not you just do six months, and not even if you do two weeks, three weeks, 10 day, five day, all these gimmicks of doing only five to 10 days, they're gimmicks, okay? They don't help you get the quality of life that you want. 
because you can't do that in just five to 10 days. You can't do that just in one or two months. It's for a lifetime. You have to take enough action. Action it needs to be done every single day. And so if you don't take, it's not saying that like some of these programs are condensing one years of exercise into you know one month. I mean, your body can't handle it. That's the wrong way of doing things. It's day by day, day by day, you're taking small amounts of action every single day. You do that for one year and for the rest of your life, you will eventually get the quality of life that you want, right? So again, this is from my mentor. Um, he, I thought this was brilliant. There's only three reasons why we don't achieve uh, the success that we want, the health that we want, the life that we want, and these are the same three strategies that you can do to achieve them, right? So give it a try. I mean, this is something definitely I'm personally working on, um, and I've shared it with my team, so my team is gonna start working on it, and so give it a try, let me know if it works, um, and let, share the successes, share that which action, what did you do to switch that, right? Um, and so attitude actually is probably one of the hardest things, but if you can do it, if you can shift up here, uh, movement Monday, that's moving things up here, that will make th these two a whole lot easier. All right, guys, Jimmy Yen from Achieving Integrative Health. Hopefully you found this super beneficial as when I when I heard it the first time, it was very beneficial. It's like a light bulb that went off, right? Um, but as always, like I said, everything in life is achievable. Maybe that's the fourth day, okay? Fourth day, achievable. Everything in life is achievable, but it's up to you to make it happen. So it's Monday, let's get start working and start achieving.